So a huge shocker, Shani and Rev now need a pizza. So this video is titled, The World Needs Jesus, and I Could Use a Pizza. Are you kidding me right now? Let's read some of these comments and then we'll go ahead and watch the video. So let me go to newest first. Okay, Silly Central said, ask God for a pizza. Mofo said, Jesus wants you to get a job. Uh, she Boulevard said, tough and no. Tyler's Grimmy said, anything else on TV? I'll get me some Pizza Hut. Didn't someone give you $300? Not even Christians, not even married. That's true, they're not really married. Um, Cernian said, get a job or eat rats and drink puddle water. Oh gosh, how the F have you two already eaten through your SNAP benefits? Get a job and buy real food. Your uncle needs to kick you out again. Little Joe said, ah, oh, Robin's ganky. What? For D, want pizza? How about getting a J-O-B beggar? Okay. Lori Stringfellow said, this guy has not one ounce of self-respect, not one ounce of shame, no sense of responsibility, nothing. Wow. Shani got herself a prize with this guy. I love that for them. Kara said, people need to stop giving them money, etc., as you're not doing them any favors. Until they have nothing, they will do nothing for themselves. I'm going to like that comment. Kara said, this is absolutely disgusting, Rev. You have no love for Jesus and are only trying to pull the heartstrings of those who do. This is why you are where you are and Jesus is, isn't helping. Rod said, well, that's what they said. Um, Budika said, I'm completely alone after a life not many would survive and could do with many things. And I saw you got cigarettes from a donation this morning. So maybe you should have got priorities right. The country needs hardworking people as the jobs are there. Sophia Best said, too busy spending my money on me and my family. If you want a pizza, go work for the money and order it. Duh. Melly Germany said, don't you think that you are trivializing the need for Jesus in this world when you are putting it in the same sentence with you wanting a to have a pizza? That, is that aside, I still find it extremely odd that a grown man would sit in front of a camera to ask strangers to fulfill his basic needs. I am hungry, folks. I would like a pizza. Since you are very vocal about your faith and it seems to be important to you that people know that you are a Christian, how do you reconcile in your heart and mind that your life seems to be in so many ways in the direct opposition to the teachings of Christ? I don't mean to be judgmental, and I know we are all sinners. But Jesus did say, if you love me, keep my commandments. If I look at the example of you not wanting to work and begging for food, don't you think you are doing Christ a disservice when you are doing this openly and publicly without seemingly having any concerns or offering any spiritual expl explanations as to why you think that what you are doing is permissible? What aspect of your life, Jason, is actually in accordance with the will of God? What teachings of Christ are you currently adhering to? As Christian brothers and sisters, we are supposed to be able to admonish each other without getting offended. Anyway, for now, much love and greetings from Germany. Ooh. Okay. Um, the knitting, somebody said, Boo! Get a job and or a life. I am tired of you two absolute pieces of crap getting by and not even caring about yourselves. You two are the worst kind of people ever born. Ugh. You don't appreciate anything you get. You both live for today. You only know if you beg enough and there are a few simps out there, you will get by. You are evil. Um, Enjoy the silence said, shut up, Jason. The only things that you need to fear are your God awful decisions and that monster you sleep next to. The hot button issues that you ought to focus on are bathing and work. Unreal how something with such a sad, dark, pathetic, ugly, self-destructive destructive existence sits around thinking about the things he can understand repeats words that he doesn't know and acts like he has anything valuable to offer after you've proven time and time again, you don't the most basic problem-solving skills. People are telling them. Karen said, I agree. We all need Jesus more than ever. I also believe what the Bible says, that a man should work to eat and provide for his family. I was a widow with five kids under 10 and we ate ramen or oatmeal many times. I would never have expected someone to just give me pizza or fast food. 
Twice I went to the food bank, but it was my responsibility and I knew that many families like mine were struggling. Many are today and there are kids who are hungrier than you. How can you feel right about this? Um, Courtney said, what the heck? I want a pizza, but I'm cooking chicken. Teo said, child abuser. Speedy Smoke said, tell the beast to stream if she wants a pizza that she's going to pretend to share with you. Let's see. Four more miles said, did you know that if you work at Domino's, Papa John's, Little Caesar's Pizza Hut, you could get a pizza every day and it's way better than begging for one. I'm going to like that. Um, Lisa Lynn said, while needing to find Jesus, he also needs a pizza on the side. Okay, um, Bewitching Bee said, I hope this doesn't come across as mean, but why is it you can't get a job bagging groceries or collecting carts at a local market? How hard could that be? The market up the street for me hires people with all kinds of intellectual disabilities all the time, and they get profit sharing, bonuses, and time and a half on Sundays. You do understand the statement is God helps those who help themselves, right? It's not God helps those who help themselves to help, to others people to other people's hard-earned money. There's a point at which you have to put on your big boy Spider-Man panties. Oh gosh. Um Marquis said, "Oh, here is the bag. He soft begged earlier, but here we go. Dang, keep missing these lives. Dang employment. Can you not get online and not ask anyone for anything? Can you not shut up about a government that feeds you?" but apparently do enough for you too. Imagine getting online with the intent to get food you won't work for, but being about, but I think it's supposed to be, but bitching about everything and anybody for a few minutes of obvious talking points, just for the minute, minute, minute chance someone will pop on at a second's notice, of course, to drop everything and send you all a pizza. For what? You got on and neck twitched through your rants, which are always the same, blah, 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 conspiracies, truth in the American way, yawns. He thinks he needs to teach us, folks, because we don't know. Then we bring the Jesus in. Then, as always, we are stupid and unworthy unless we send them pizza. You know what? I'm going to send a meat lover's pizza to a local women's shelter in your name. They won't have any idea about who you are, but will enjoy it. How can you do nothing all day? No wonder you have lost your mind. Um, Mr. Unite said, let's see what they said. Sorry to hear you're so hungry. I have some editing I need to get done, but I'm busy with other things. Do you have a CyberLink power director? I'll give you $10 an hour and you should be able to do about 15 or 20 or so an hour. Since they're just sound bites that need to be cropped out of short clips. So someone's offering Rev a job, it sounds like. But of course, Rev won't take them up on it. Um... Go Brand wait, go Brandon said. Here we go again here we go again, clown face emoji. Jesus didn't spend your seven hundred thousand dollars, so Rev tell Shani to get up and go get you a pizza. President Joe Biden said, Ask Jesus for a pizza. President Joe Biden also said, How many abused children have you asked Jesus for help? He ain't coming, Rev. He either likes to walk oh wow. Okay, well, I'm going to scroll past that. Twinkle said, boo, politics. Wuhan of Chirac said, you've got to be kidding me. Toilet paper, gas, pizza, where does it end? Do you even feel slightly ashamed asking total strangers to provide literally everything for you? The lexicon said, nah, your love for Jesus and Shani is all you need to sustain you. You don't need pizza. You're already blessed with so much. All right, you guys, I'm going to scroll up and see if there's anything else. Miss Luna Moon said, I could really go for some cheese sticks. My PayPal is. <laughs> oh, Hamburgers asks, well, do you want Jesus or a pizza? Because you can only have one. Them's the rules. Um, Raccoon Man said, the whale is forcing Rev to beg for a pizza. Hard Knocks put a bunch of red flags and said, scams and frauds. All right, you guys. I think we've read enough comments. Let's go ahead and listen to what Rev has to say, which is going to be some type of crap followed by what he needs. Hey, guys. How you doing? Rev here. And, I know. Um, I could see. You know, I've just been re thinking recently mm -hmm. uh, about the current political situation that we have in the country. <clears throat> and, um, you, you know, I, I, it really makes me feel pretty hopeless Hopeless. About the future. 
because both parties um, just, it, it seems like, have polarized so badly that the middle... The neck thing is happening again. The neck thing is happening. The middle ground has been completely lost. And um, it, it seems to me like like um, people just have their their ideologies and, and they're not willing um, to talk about governance anymore at, at all. Um, everything is about like, you know, th these hot button issues, these hot topic type issues mm -hmm. um, that totally divide and, and make people hate each other, you know? So I just like, I wanted to make this video to say that in this time, we need Jesus more than we've ever needed him before. Ever. Um, the leadership. I think you need Jesus more than you've ever needed him before. And I don't think, I don't even think that you have, I'm, I hate to say this, but how can you have a real relationship with God and come online and do this all the time? You hide behind religion. What do you do to help other people? Do you think you're scaring people away from God or bringing people to God? It's just not there. And, and what happens when you have a nation full of people that are being led, you know, by their nose um, to this issue or the next issue or another issue? It's, it's really bad. And, and it's not about governance anymore. It's, it really isn't. It's, it's about um, the hot button, whatever. What are we even talking about? What are we talking about? Hot button issue for the day is. And it's, it's very bad for the, the political system and um, getting people in office that actually want to, like, do what senators and, and, and Congress people and... Um, I'm not trying to be mean, but I don't like to talk politics as it is, and I definitely don't want to talk it with you, Jason. So can we move along? Leaders used to do, which is govern. It, it Like, everything is about topics now. It has nothing to do with, with okay, where's the nation going to be in five years, you know? So I just wanted to say we need Jesus Christ more than anything, and, and it... I think you need to really worry about your relationship with Jesus Christ and not other people right now. I hate to say that, but you... you need Especially in this time. Um, also, I have been pretty hungry, guys. Um, it, if you... Didn't you just get gas for the car? Go drive to a food bank. Go drive and fill out applications. If you want to, donate to my PayPal. I don't it's want It's at to. RevDude, R-E-V-D-U-D-E. -E. It's at Rev Dude. I could really use a pizza, to be honest. So I appreciate you if you could help me out with that. Um, help yourself. Help yourself. But yeah, if you don't know Jesus Christ. And I hate to say this, but people who are truly hungry don't have specific, like they're just like, whatever you can give, like whatever you could send me. He always has specific needs and specific amounts. I could really use $10. I could really use $20. I could really use this. I could really use cigarettes. I could really use a pizza. If you're truly that hungry, you'd be grateful for what anybody could give, but you're not that, <laughs> you're not starving. Well, unless Shani's keeping the food for herself, which we know she's done before. You really need him. You need him today, this second. Because I don't know where this country's going. I just don't. I don't see a, a good path forward for the country. I just don't see it. And that's how it ends. Okay, you guys, let's talk about this in the comment section. So this is what he wants to do every day is come online and ask for things, lecture people, tell us we all need God. But how's your relationship with God there, buddy? Hmm? All right, you guys, let's shake off any bad vibes or negativity. Shake, 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 shake. And I will see you guys so soon. Bye.